Nancy Miller was born in Los Angeles, California to John and Marianne Miller. He was raised with two brothers, John and Michael. Bill's interest in water-related activities and inspiration from two uncles who were Navy enlisted men led to his early interest in the Naval Service. After graduation from Bellarmine Jefferson High School, Bill headed for the Naval Academy to seek more challenges in the classroom and at sea. In the Brigade of Midshipmen, he played intramural sports, was in the YP Squadron, sang in the Catholic Choir, and was a Burke Scholar. The Lucky Bag noted that the Naval Service will certainly profit when Bill takes his well-deserved place. After graduating in the top 10 of his class, Bill went on to earn a Master's of Science degree and Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering at Stanford University. As a surface warfare officer, his first operational assignment was aboard the USS DuPont. Later, he returned to the Naval Academy, serving on the faculty in the Department of Electrical Engineering and as executive assistant to the superintendent. During this time, the first women were admitted to the Academy. His seagoing assignments included command of two ships, the frigate USS McCloy and the destroyer USS Cushing. Starting in 1986, he served in numerous commands and director positions, including Director of Undersea and Strategic Warfare and Nuclear Development, Commanding Officer of the Naval Research Laboratory, and Director of Low Observables, otherwise known as Stealth Technology. In 1990, he assumed duties as Chief of Naval Research and Chief Executive of the Office of Naval Research, where he received plaudits for restructuring the entire organization to better meet the future needs of the Navy and Marine Corps. Bill retired from the Naval Service in 1993. His military awards include the Navy Distinguished Service Medal, four Legions of Merit, and a Meritorious Service Medal. That same year, he joined the faculty at West Virginia University as a professor of engineering and an associate provost for research and economic development, during which time he was recognized for outstanding teaching. He served as chair of the avionics panel on the Air Force Scientific Advisory Board. For this service, he was awarded the Exceptional Civilian Service Award by the Secretary of the Air Force. In 1997, he rejoined the Naval Academy staff as Academic Dean and Provost, where he served until 2009. Bill was awarded the honorary title Academic Dean and Provost Emeritus by the Secretary of the Navy for his visionary and transformational achievements which included significant enhancements to the Academy's academic program, resulting in national and international recognition for academic excellence across the curriculum. Under Bill's leadership, the Academy introduced five new areas of study and new areas of academic concentration. These programs included foreign language studies in Chinese and Arabic, quantitative economics, information technology, and computer engineering. Bill also collaborated with the Navy's Director of Athletics to promote programs that resulted in Navy varsity athletes achieving graduation rates among the highest in the nation. For his exemplary service as Dean, Bill received the Navy Superior Civilian Service Award and later the Navy Distinguished Civilian Service Award. Bill continues to support his alma mater as a member of the President's Circle. He actively participates in fundraising activities on behalf of the Naval Academy Foundation and played a critical role in raising more than $50 million in support of academic programs. Bill and his wife Barbara have been married more than 51 years and are proud of their five married children and 18 grandchildren. The Academy runs strong in his family. He has a son from the class of 1988, a son-in-law of 1976, a grandson of 2008, and a granddaughter who plans to join the class of 2018. After all these years, he still enjoys water activities and Navy sports. To Bill, his most meaningful accomplishments are leaving a number of Navy research and education organizations measurably better than he found them, especially the Naval Academy at which he significantly reduced midshipman attrition. Rear Admiral William C. Miller, through his visionary leadership, has significantly influenced and molded future leaders of the nation and the military services.